Welcome. In this video I'm going to be replacing the rear liftgate struts on my 2100 series Land Cruiser. So these struts are working right now and I actually recently replaced my hood struts. They weren't working at all but I didn't replace these at that time because they seemed to be working. But I was out camping in cold weather and these things were not working. So when I got cold the tailgate would barely stay up. So I could suffer through that but it's super easy to replace them. So I'm going to show that in this video. The struts I'm using are from A Premium and if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these I'll put a link to them in the description on Amazon and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's check these out. So these came nicely packaged. So with Toyotas a lot of people like to use the OEM parts but OEM liftgate struts are very expensive so I like to go with aftermarket. Now if these were to fail on me someday it's only just going to inconvenience me it's not going to leave me stranded but I will say I've had very good luck with aftermarket struts. So the tools we'll need are a 12 millimeter wrench and a 12 millimeter socket. You also potentially will need some locking pliers or vice grips to hold the tailgate up or you could also have a friend help you. So let's get started. So I'm going to put the tailgate up so I can get closer. So I'll be doing the right side first so let's head over to the left side. So I don't think this will support the lift gate all on its own. So I have a pair of vice grips here and I will clamp these on here. Now you do want to be very careful. If these fall off, these could damage your paint. So it's probably safer to actually have someone hold it up for you. But if you're working alone, another would be to put some sort of prop in here. But you just want to support this while we take the other side off. Now you don't want to do this to the new struts as it could damage them. So now I'm back on the right side or the passenger side and I want to remove this here. So I'll use a 12 millimeter wrench. Now I don't know how much tension this is under so it may try and push down on this. And the reason I don't know is I don't know if one or both sides are weak. Okay, so there's quite a bit of tension here, I noticed, so I'm going to lift up on the lift gate, and then I'll finish loosening this. Okay, I got that out, so I'll let the tension off. Now I'll switch to the upper bolts. I'll loosen both of these. So here we have the new strut and this end here threads on so you can see. So I want to tighten this all the way and I'm going to put this in here first. That way when I put it in the top it's not bound up and pressing down. So I will start threading that in. Now there's a washer around here and you can see the washer is quite a bit smaller but I think it'll work just fine. Now when you tighten these down, be careful. I have had these break. It wasn't on this brand of strut, it was on a different brand which might have been cheaper. But still, these don't have to be incredibly tight. So just snug it up a little bit, but don't over tighten. So when we get to the top here, this is not going to line up now because I tightened it. So I'll just loosen it until it turns enough to be in alignment. Now I'll probably have to lift the lift gate while putting those bolts in. Okay, this side's complete. I'll do the same to the other side. Now this should probably be able to hold this lift gate up all on its own. So I'm going to take my vice grip off, but I'll support the weight of this just in case as I'm loosening the bolts on the other side. Okay, so it doesn't appear as if a single one will hold the full lift gate. So I'm just gonna hold this up while I'm doing it. It'd be best if I had a second person helping me. Okay, so I held it up with my head a little bit. It didn't feel good, but I got it done. So again, probably best if you have two people. So let's test this out. So that worked great. 
So I think most people with basic tools will be able to do this job. If you went to a shop and had them do this, this would probably cost you a lot of money. So this is very affordable. So that's how you replace the rear liftgate struts on a 100 series Land Cruiser. This would also apply to the LX470. And these instructions would actually apply to lots of vehicles with similar type struts. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.